Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create site-to-site -site VPNs in Unify. I did this video about a year ago, but the controller has changed quite a bit. I'm running on controller 6.2.23, which was released May 12th, but I believe they have rolled it back to 6.1.71. Either way, the new controller shouldn't look too different. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at mactelecomnetworks. And if you'd like to support the channel, we have an Amazon storefront, and I'll put a link in the description below. For the site-to-site -site VPN, I'm going to be using a UDM Pro, which is sitting in my home, and then we're going to be installing a UDM base model at my mom's. I have the base model sitting right beside me. I have two different ISPs, so we're going to be able to test the site-to-site -site connectivity. The reason I'm doing this, I'm bringing another Synology NAS to my mom's for backup, and I want to have a VPN between them. I'll show you how to create these site-to-site -site VPNs in both the new UI and the classic version. I prefer the classic version as I've been using it for a while and the new UI is still missing a few things. So first, let's start on the UDM Pro. So the first thing we need to do, we need to go to our settings wheel. And then from here, we need to click on networks. And then we need to add a new network. Below, I'm going to call it site-to-site. -site. And my router is going to be my UDM. And then we go to VPN settings. Below, we can see site to site. And this may look a little different in 6.1.71, but you should still see an option for site to site. Our VPN protocol is going to be manual IPsec. And then we're going to create a pre shared key. Here, it's going to specify your public WAN IP. If it doesn't, you need to put your public WAN IP in. And then we're going to have our remote gateway and subnets. These are the subnets that we want to connect to on the other side. So for me, it will be 192.168.1.0/24 and 192.168.55.0/24. And now we need to put in the remote IP address. So this is the public IP of the other VPN, so at my mom's house. Once that's done, all we need to do is press add network. Now we can see in the network list that the site to site VPN is created. We need to now create it on the UDM base side. Now on the UDM base side, we need to go into our settings wheel and then we need to click on networks, then add a new network. Here we're going to call it site to site and then go to our VPN settings. On the UDM base model, it looks a little bit different. It's showing us here in the new UI that we have the remote access, but we want to put the site to site. Our VPN protocol is manual IPsec, and then we need to have the pre-shared key matching on both sides. We need to specify the public WAN IP address of our base model, and then we need to select the remote gateways. So we're going to be using 192.168.10.0 24. Below that, we need to specify the remote IP address, which is the public IP of my UDM Pro, and then press Add Network. And that's it. That's all we need to do to create the site-to-site -site VPN. If you're behind an ISP router and it's doubled NAT, you're going to have to forward port 500 and 4500 to your WAN interface of your UDM. So now if we do an IP config, we could see that my computer is on 192.168.10.58. So we should be able to ping 192.168.55.1 and 1.1. And you can see our ping requests are going through to 55.1. And you can see it's going through for 1.1. If you're seeing no ping replies, try going on both networks and pinging each other and it should bring it up. There's also another useful article by Ubiquity in their troubleshooting for the site to site VPNs and I'll put it in the description below so that you guys could see it. We could run some commands to verify that the site to site VPN is established and we could also run commands if we want to restart the site to site VPN. Now let's create the site to site VPN again, but in classic mode. So the first thing we'll do, we'll go to our settings wheel in my UDM pro, and then we're going to click on networks. We're going to click create new network, and then we'll name it site to site. We're going to want to click the purpose for site to site VPN and then manual IP sec. We're going to want to have this VPN enabled and then remote subnets. We're going to be putting in 192.168.55.0 slash 24 and 192.168.1.0 slash 24. 
The route distance will be 30 and then our peer IP will be our public IP of the UDM base model and our local WAN IP will be the public IP of the UDM Pro. Next we need to put in a pre-shared key and then we need to press save. Now we need to go over to the UDM base model and do the same thing. So we'll press the settings wheel and then we'll create a new network. Here we'll call it site to site and then we'll click the purposed site to site VPN. We're going to add a subnet of 192.168.10.0/24 and then we're going to add the peer IP which is my UDM Pro public IP and our local IP which is the UDM base. And then we need to specify that same pre-shared key and then press save. Now the VPN's created, we should be able to ping across again to 55.1 and 1.1. And we could see the request going through. And we could see it going through on the 1.1 network as well. So that's how we set up the site to site VPNs in the new user interface and the classic interface. I still prefer the classic interface. If you guys like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.